Okay, just wanted to do a quick, uh, quick tip video here. To, a couple of questions had been asked about shortcuts over in the uh, days forum, so I thought I'd just uh, go ahead and show that right quick. Um, up here, under the uh, edit menu, to get to the shortcuts, we'll just click the edit and go to shortcut editor and with the shortcut editor open you can just take a look here and see what all the shortcuts are it's real easy to get to um, you have your export recent files um, anyway you can take a look through there and see what shortcuts are for the view, display, window selection, and and your tools, uh, they are also editable. Uh, let's see. Let's just go in here and do uh, under the tools tab of the shortcut editor. We'll just leave it here on vertex modeling. And let's say I wanted to create a shortcut for quad tessellation. I'm going to go right here and click on uh, one of these buttons and as you can see it's highlighted in blue and then I can just uh, use the keys to set that. I'll just do uh, shift S and as you can see it lists that there. I'm going to oh no let's see I don't remember how to move it uh, remove it anyway um, let's say uh, let's see target weld is W let's say I wanted to add W to another one another um, uh, tool like symmetry it hit W and as you can see a um, a little pop-up window comes up and says this shortcut is already used by target weld redefine it and I'm gonna say no uh, that's real handy um, if you have uh, um, that shortcut set for something else already you can sh accidentally uh, override it but with a warning you can uh, avoid it um, something I don't really have any user defined shortcuts set right now um, because when I do these tutorials I try to uh, keep it as default as I can uh, so that uh, I don't confuse anybody. I did that a while back in an, in an old video that I did and I forgot that I'd set those uh, shortcut keys so I'm sure uh, it got kind of confusing because I didn't record that particular video with audio. Okay, so that's um, shortcut editor and another question that was asked uh, was about setting uh, setting up images on the planes okay so anyway here's our planes you've got uh, the right left and bottom so uh, to set up those images you can go right over here under the the scenes and click on properties and then we've got this area right here is how you uh, set up your images um, you just go to the little uh, browse button here and go to where you have your image files and you just uh, choose one of them and then to get the uh, image to display on the grid you just have to put a little check in the box there uh, 
as you can see it's set there if I want to turn it off I could just click the little icon beside it or clear it out I'd just probably highlight it in there and just backspace so anyway um, that wasn't exactly a prepared video uh, <clears throat> but uh, those questions were asked and I just wanted to make a short video and and hopefully it helps somebody out um, well that's it for this one uh, we'll see ya